everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today I will talk about the forecast for the month of April 2021 for the sign of Aries. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Aries, then this video is for you. So <laughs> I was looking at the astrology and I was thinking, okay, I want to I want to bring you good news. And there's certainly good news, but <laughs> but there's a but because um, there's going to be a lot of transformations happening. So this is transformations for the good or the bad. Okay. And, you know, besides all that, I want to say happy birthday. <laughs> I don't want to screw any of that up, you know. Um, but, you know, uh, it is a very transformational month and it's going to bring you into a new direction. This is for good or for better, you know, like for, for better or for worse. <laughs> I'm saying it's completely wrong. So, yeah, I mean, we're starting off with the North Node conjuncting Mars. So this is basically saying that, you know, the North Node is where you're going to, like the focus in the upcoming more or less two years uh, in your life. And when Mars is uh, conjuncting this North Node, it means that you're going to take more action regarding to those lessons. So you have your North Node in your natal chart, which is different than the transiting North Node. So the transiting North Node is just an indication of where's your focus going to go to. And when Mars is there, you're going to emphasize it. So for you, this is happening uh, in your third house. The North Node is in Gemini. So this really means um, communication. Uh, socializing and the third house really has to do with socializing in your neighborhood so you're probably gonna either uh, you know talk with people around you you're gonna do maybe I don't know you're gonna take some short trips um, I wouldn't say this is the best time to buy a car because <laughs> You know, the third house is also transportation, but when it's conjunct Mars, I would say watch out with driving or buying a car now. I would wait a little bit longer till Mars is moving on and maybe you want a conjun conjunction, for example, with Venus. I mean, it's a little bit softer. <laughs> like, that. that's just a little bit better, you know? Um, and then we have a new moon in your sign in Aries. And this is going to happen on the 11th of April. And, you know, of course, it's happening in your first house. So this has to do with your self-image. Uh, this has to do with how you want to move forward in life. And, you know, one of the things that are very confusing during this new moon is that there's a lot of good aspects with Jupiter. So, and there's a lot of tense aspects <laughs> with Pluto. So we have... Jupiter, um, which is in your 11th house of friendships, groups, networking, you've been focusing on meeting people, getting out there, promoting your business out there, you know, it's all out there and you're going to have good luck with that, you know, like Saturn is making you work a little bit harder for it because if you only would have Jupiter there, it would be much easier. At least the conjunction is gone, but still Saturn is saying, okay, you have to work hard for this. So you have to look for the groups. Maybe you're doing some online course, you have to work for it, but it's bringing you more expansion, more friends, more connections, and you know, that's bringing you forward. Um, so Jupiter is trining Mars, uh, which by the new moon is gone from the North Node, uh, but it's still in your third house. So definitely good conversations with friends, uplifting conversations with friends, like it's a trine. So, you know, trine is more soft aspect. If it was a square, I would say, okay, <laughs> probably going to have some fights, but you know, not bad. And then we have Jupiter sextiling Venus, your sun and your moon, which are basically all in your sign. So you are going to be seen you know besides having your birthday like <laughs> depending when you know some already had it uh at the end of march but you know for your birthday areas the sun is usually 
um, the sun is on you and you can easily manifest things. And when so much focus is on your house, you know, there's going to be a lot of fire energy and there's, it, it's, <laughs> you know, first house uh, ruled by areas. So it's really about leadership, moving forward, uh, taking action on something, you know, but it's going to be a little bit of an overwhelming energy because there are so many planets in your sign. So you might just be like all out. <laughs> and people we are like, okay, okay, easy, easy, easy. You know, it's a lot of fire, like a lot of fire. So you're going to have so much energy. My suggestion is do some sports and, you know, like get, go out there, do sports, have fun you know, uh, do sports with friends in groups, uh, doesn't matter. But here's the but. <laughs> We're going to have Pluto with a tight square with Venus. So your Pluto is in the 10th house and 10th house has to do with your, how you're seen in the public. Um, you know, it has to do with your job. Uh, you're, you've been going through a major transformation when it comes to your job, okay? So maybe you're building something, maybe something broke down and you really have to think what you want to do next. This is a great uh, month to move things forward because Pluto is going to either break or make. <laughs> like it's the planet of transformation, it's the planet of the underworld and, you know, uh, your Venus, of course, in the first house, squaring, um, I wanted to say Saturn, Pluto in the 10th house. So definitely there's going to be some major transformation happening. So some of you might lose your job. Okay, I don't want you to worry. Uh, in order to get a better position or you might move to a higher position. But definitely there, there are some things that have to break down. So uh, what it also have to do with is power. You know, so if you have been taking too much advantage of your status or of your uh, position, the position that you're having, the karma won't be great because <laughs> Pluto is really like trying to teach you uh, how to get from darkness to the light. If you really, you know, used your inner strength in the right way, you will get your reward. Because Jupiter is still there to reward you, you know, so maybe you're out there, you're meeting friends and, you know, they offer you a job um, or people are going to help you, advise you. Um, but Pluto has squares as well with the sun and the moon. So definitely your self-image. Maybe you feel you want to change your look. You want to look different. You want to, you know, like maybe you're not taking any longer stuff from people that you've been taking things from. You're like, okay. I'm no, no longer going to listen to this, <laughs> to this beep, <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but yeah, you're kind of done with that. So there are some people you're going to be done with. I feel like you're going to have a clean slate. Uh, you're going to go for what you want to. We have a lot of conjunctions as well with the sun and Mercury and Venus. So in one way, you're going to feel very good, but it's going to be a lot of fire energy. OK, you're going to be you're going to be bulldozing and no one can stop you from what you want. So it's, it's on one hand, very powerful. You can do a lot. You can achieve a lot this month. Make sure to not misuse any power or misuse any, you know, any feelings that you have um, in your job, you know, like maybe you you know how to manage to talk a certain way and get like to a higher position uh this is not all of you and eh? you could have to, uh this could also mean you have to deal with a person that is like this so someone that that is really like kind of backstabbing in the in the workplace so um yeah you you're gonna have to deal with uh some transformations when it comes to your friends but your friends are positive. I feel this is a positive thing. I think more has to do with your work. And you know, if you are in a leading position, uh, there could be some changes. You're gonna make changes. Um, you're gonna make changes regarding to your appearance, your job, all these kind of things. But something will be triggered, you know. And Pluto is definitely. Uh, it's not a sweet planet. It's not like oh, I'm gonna be so nice to you. <laughs> So, uh, but then, you know, if I look at your midheaven, you have a trine with Venus and a trine with the moon. So it's definitely going to lead to a better situation. That's going to be for the best. 
Um, so don't become insecure or act out more than you should just to be liked by anyone because you're already great as you are Aries. like you're already great so you don't need to do anything else and then we have a full moon on the 27th of april a full moon in scorpio and scorpio for you is in your eighth house so this is another trigger for transformation um, by, by that time we have all the planets in Taurus and this is in your second house of self-value, materialism um, and you have all the good planets there so I would say there's definitely a chance of unexpected money because your sun is conjuncting Uranus Uranus conjuncting Venus and Venus is conjuncting Mercury uh, so you're definitely going to maybe you have some creative ideas and they're going to make some money you could partner up with someone to have an idea and that's working out really greatly. So uh, there's again um, transformation happening and you know these are the good aspects but then we have Saturn squaring Venus, Mercury, the Sun and the Moon. Saturn is in the 11th house so um, there might be someone in your networking group but by the end of the month is stopping you from doing what you maybe you had a certain idea and someone's telling you no you shouldn't do that and this is triggering your self-worth this is triggering your self-love because you have to decide what is good for you no one else can decide what's good for you area so if you feel this is something you want to do you need to do do it <laughs> just do it like um yeah don't let anyone stop you from the things that you want to do um definitely unexpected changes maybe unexpected changes in your friendships but definitely um maybe during this new moon something happened and you ha it forced you to think about different stuff uh different stuff to make money or different ways to make money and yeah, definitely. It could definitely be rewarding, but it's it's going to take hard work. <laughs> it's going to take hard work and there might be people around you saying that you can't do it. Don't listen to that. You know, you have to always trust yourself, your own feelings. Um, maybe you have to dive a little bit deeper, like some deeper layers within yourself that, you know, that bring up a little bit of insecurity. Um, but it needs to come up for you to become more secure and know that you have the strength to do whatever you want to do, okay? So it's really about finding balance as well, because first we have so much fire and then it's going straight to earth. So there's like no balance because <laughs> all these planets just stick together all the time, you know? We had it in, area of, in Aquarius before um, and now we have, you know, beginning of the month we have a lot of fire and now there's a lot of earth. Um, yeah. It's so crazy, look at that, the full. So this is what I told you like uh, before, like just do whatever it is that is your idea. This is your month, this is your birthday month. You have power to manifest. You will have great ideas coming to you regarding work, Ace of Pentacles, this is work. So you have to achieve and do and follow your own dreams no matter what other people are telling you okay so look at other people's intentions or towards you especially by the end of the month and look at this so maybe something has to break down because there's something better for you and you're closing your eyes to it so this is not for everyone but some are they have like closed eyes like the universe is offering these really amazing things and you're just afraid to take the le leap of faith and to go for something new so things have to break down um yeah okay so like i said there will be people they're gonna be jealous of your leadership, okay? So I'm getting the devil, and this is again, people going to tell you that you, you're not a able to do stuff, or not capable, but look at this card. You are a leader, and you know, this is the king of pentacles. So it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man, you are this person, you can build something very solid, okay? So this month's gonna break up a lot of stuff, 
it's gonna force you to change to go forward and there are gonna be a lot of emotions like can I do this am I good enough uh, searching for other people's advice maybe beginning of the month but certainly not the end of the month um, I'm seeing pentacles 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 look at that money 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 so you focus on your career your money uh, your self-image like your leadership you're moving forward and you're unstoppable and if someone is stopping you the universe will break it down this month in april it's gonna be like okay <laughs> not listening that's fine we're gonna just you know we're gonna just kind of force this on you yeah so okay this is all good rejoice and celebration so you're just gonna have fun you're gonna find your job authority your leader the leader within you you're gonna find your inner harmony so like i said you will go to extremes to find the balance in between uh, and then success look at that success you're like this warrior that's gonna go for like exactly what you want he or she wants so um yeah that's my message to you uh it's really about you manifesting what you want but also taking action on it uh don't let anyone tell you you're not capable of doing it uh, it is the right time to to go for your dreams um you know uh what i also have to say we have mars in the fourth house by the end of the month so um maybe you want to move or you um having some action on your house like something is going on like try to avoid fights at home but try to make it something uplifting but i don't see like any super tension going on at this time um it's that it's time for hard work it's time for all your dreams achievements and just showing the world how amazing you are Aries. so uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, <laughs> leave a comment and, you know, hope to see you soon again. Bless you a million, Aries. Bye-bye.